Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot. She's waiting very patiently because she's got a great big bone that she's going to take, I think. There she goes. That'll keep her occupied for two or three minutes, I'm sure. Uh, this is our brief daily message of hope, and my prayer is that you are... In a good place today as we come to Friday of this uh, uh, week and the first day of the month of September, we blaze into a new month and a new weekend and uh, we have all sorts of opportunities every day to uh, experience what God brings to us each day and I hope that you're able to experience His love and His mercy. And I recommend, as Dot is running through the house with her bone now, <laughs> that's one of the running bones, I guess. She has some that she likes to run with. Uh, but I hope you're able to, to experience the, the joy and the love of the Lord today. Uh, I recommend to people to get their Bible out and read each day. It often doesn't really matter where you start. Uh, just start reading. Uh, and say a prayer before you start and ask the Lord to direct you to some thought or some activity or to, to some something that he wants you to focus on today. That happened to me today. I was reading just randomly, as I often do, uh, from uh, uh, Paul's letter to the church at Philippi, Philippians chapter 3, where uh, Paul is talking about not focusing on what lies behind, uh, but to forget what lies behind and to take hold of where you are and press forward, to press on uh, toward uh, what God sets for us uh, today and tomorrow and the next day. And then he says this in uh, Philippians 3.16, Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Now, that reminded me of one of my New Testament professors 40 years ago who summed up St. Paul's uh, theology in one sentence where he, his, uh, not only his theology, but his ethical summons, and, and he put it this way, become who you already are. And his point, which is so wonderful, is that we are already precious children of the Lord, created by him, out of his love, uh, to be receptacles uh, of his love, to share his love in the world. That's who we already are. We already are precious children. So let us live up to that. Let us become who we already are. And we can do that with his help. First of all, remembering that he is with us and he is who he says he is. And he loves us just as he says he loves us and that he has created us uh, to be of value and worth and purpose for him in the world today. We're not meaningless, we're not worthless, we're not pointless. We're precious vehicles of the love of the Lord. We receive his love so that we can share it with others, the greatest thing we can ever do. Remember that today. And I was just thinking of a, of a song that's been going through my mind. I haven't thought of it. It's actually the, uh, the music to a film called Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour uh, about 1979 or 1980. It's just a beautiful hymn uh, as we realize that no matter where we are in time, we're in the presence of the Lord. See you.